Hello YouTube. In today's video, I thought I would talk a little bit about how I've been using TickTick -tick to prioritize my tasks lately. So that when I come into work and get started with my work day, I know exactly what tasks I'm going to work on and when I'm going to work on them. I'm going to talk about how I use a calendar, albeit not the TickTick -tick calendar, but my work and personal calendars. How I use the TickTick -tick priority flags, so the high, medium, and low and also how I use filters to narrow in to exactly what specific tasks I need to work on. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. All right, so to get started, I'm actually looking at my Outlook calendar, not in TickTick, -tick, but uh, Outlook, and I'm looking at the week ahead. So before my work week even starts, the first thing I do is I take a look at the week ahead and I try to pick out spots where I can insert some focus time. And so for each day, I look for at least one spot that's about two hours long. And so here on Monday, um, it looks like I can get a little bit of focus time in here. Um, what I'll do is I'll just save this for now and I'll extend it. That's 10.30 to 12.30, that's two hours. That would be a good focus time. The other thing I do is I change the category to red. And so any event on my calendar that's red, I know that that's going to be my focus time for that day. And I'll show you a little bit later on on how I use TickTick -tick to tell me what to work on during those focus times. But for now, I'm just scheduling it out. Um, so usually from here, I'll duplicate the event. I'll say save, and then I can just drag it over to the next day. So the next day on Tuesday looks like maybe from 9.30 to 12, maybe I can get two and a half hours that day, so it could be a little bit longer. I usually go for at least two hours, um, but if I can get two and a half or three hours, that's even better. Uh, most days there's only a um, spot on my calendar for one focus time, because I got a lot of other meetings going on. But we'll see on Wednesday, um, if I drag this over, I'm gonna have a spot over here in the morning I'll say two hours from 8.30 to 10.30. And then let me duplicate it again. It looks like I got a spot in the afternoon that I can fit another focus time in. So that's a great day. Uh, let me drag it here. So that's a great day when I can get two blocks of focus time. One thing you'll notice is that not every day can you even fit one block of focus time. So Thursday is looking pretty rough. I've got meetings all day on Thursday and so I'm not gonna get any blocks of focus time, which is okay. You know, that's just something I have to work through and plan for throughout the week. And that's why I plan these other focus times for, for large chunks of time where I can get some deep work in. Looks like Friday is also a good day. Um, I'll probably do a focus time in the morning. And that's also another point I wanna make. Generally, when I'm planning my focus times, I generally look for a slot in the morning because that's when I'm most focused. Usually not the first thing in the morning, usually not 8 o'clock or, or even 8.30 sometimes, but 9 o'clock is usually a good starting time for my focus times. If I can get a 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock, that's perfect for me. Um, Friday, uh, maybe by the afternoon, I've got another meeting uh, late Friday afternoon. I'll probably leave this spot open to kind of start wrapping things up for the week rather than work on uh, focused work. So that's how I set up my calendar. Next thing I'll do is I'll move over to TickTick. -tick. All right, so over in TickTick, -tick, what I do next is I go through uh, all of my tasks, you know, and again, this is done on a weekly basis as part of uh, a weekly review, but I'm just gonna take a look at my major project for now. And, you know, I have a lot of tasks in here. Uh, they're not all important um, because if all of them are important, then none of them are important. So they can't all be important. So I have to go through and decide which ones are more important than others. Um, so what I'll start with is I'll start, you know, maybe this new task, maybe that's a low priority. So I'll flag it as low. And maybe new task number three is also a low priority. And, and what I mean for low priority is that I plan on doing it this week. So within the week, all right. And maybe build the PowerPoint deck. So this presentation, let's see, we're gonna prepare, we're gonna build, actually this should actually be up here if I wanted it in order. I'd prepare, I'd build the PowerPoint deck, 
give the presentation, send up. So um, build the PowerPoint deck might be a low priority as well, but prepare is something that I wanna do the next day. So the next day when I come in to work, I wanna be preparing. That might be my number one task. So I'm gonna set it as a high priority. And then also let's take a look at, do the analysis, get the requirements. Uh, that's gonna be my number two priority. So this is kinda how I go through and prioritize my tasks. I pick a handful of low priority tasks and then I pick, I try to, I try to pick one high priority and one medium priority. And those are kind of my two highest priorities that I'm doing next. But then also what I do is I pick out one task that I'm gonna work on during my big block of focus time. So work on setting up the app. I might set up a tag that I call focus. I'm gonna save that and then so now this task, work on setting up the app, has the focus tag on it. So that means that's the task that I'm gonna focus on during my focus block. Now, the other thing I do is I turn my focus tag to red so that it matches the red color of my focus block on my calendar. And I have to refresh this particular view in order to get that red to, fo to, uh, to refresh. Okay, so now I know exactly what I'm gonna work on the next day. I'm gonna, number one, I'm gonna prepare for this presentation. After that's done, I'm gonna get the requirements for the analysis. And I'm gonna do all that in between my meetings. Now, when my focus block hits, I'm gonna stop what I'm doing and I'm gonna work on the task that I've set for my focus block. And that usually is something that takes a little more time. It's a little, requires a little more thinking. Um, it's not something I can just, uh, stop and start uh, it's something that I really want to focus on and make sure that I get done and so that gives me about three tasks to focus on each day my top priority my medium priority and my focus uh, my focus task so I also use dates but very sparingly so you'll notice I use all of these features very sparingly I don't put a priority on all of my tasks I only use a handful of low low priority tasks I use very few medium priority tasks and only one high priority task. And that's something that I've kind of decided, I've set a rule for myself that I only want one high priority task uh, at a time. That way I know that it's number one. And then also for dates, I only use dates when um, I absolutely deem it's necessary. So actually in real life, probably go grocery shopping would not have um, a date on it because it's just, it's not that important if it's done on Saturday. You know, if it's done on Friday, that's fine. If it's done on Sunday, that's fine. Usually I pick out tasks that really um, need a date on them. All right, so now I'm gonna jump up to the filters that I have set up that help me um, view the tasks that I need to view. So I'm scrolling up, I have my filters up at the top and the top priorities filters is my main filter and I'm gonna show you how I have that set up first. So here I'm using the advanced setup, which allows me to use the or tag. And so here you can see that I'm looking at any tasks that are marked high or medium priority, or they're marked today or they're past due in the due date, or they're marked as focus in the tag. So those are the three criteria that they could meet and it's an or, not an and. So it's either marked as high or medium, or it's overdue or, or due today, or it's tagged as focus. And so when I, when I cancel out of this, and I'll show you what's in the top priorities now that we've marked a few tasks, this is how it looks. So I have it, so I have it sorted by priority so that my top priority is up at the very top. Prepare is my number one priority. That's what I should be working on. Down below that are my two medium priorities. So do laundry, which is a personal task, and get the requirements, which is a work task. So again, this, this filter does not filter based on work or personal, it combines them um, so that I can, I can see exactly what I need to do as a person because as a person, I do work and I also have a personal life, so I have to be able to do both. Um, and this filter allows me to do that. And then down below the high and medium are the tasks with no priority. But in this case, they fall in the filter because this top one, take the car for an oil change, is marked as due today. That's something that I need to have done today. And then down below that is my focus task. So when that focus block hits on my calendar, I know that that's the task that I'm gonna work on. 
Okay, so the other filters that I have set up, um, I have Next Step Work and Next Step Personal. They're similar to each other, only they are separated by Work and Personal. And here again, I'm also using the Advanced Setup. And here I'm looking for those low priority tasks or they're due tomorrow through the next third day. So I'm not looking at anything that's due today, but I'm looking at anything that's due tomorrow or the next three days after tomorrow. And it's in my work tasks. All right, so if I cancel out of that and I take a look at this, um, you can see all three of these tasks are marked as a low priority. So these are gonna be next up on my work. Um, you know, So once I'm done with my high and medium priority work tasks, I will look to this task list to see what should I mark as high and medium now. Or if something else has come in that's a higher priority than these three tasks, then I would obviously mark that as a high priority or a medium priority. All right, next up, personal. Again, it's very similar, low priority, or it's due tomorrow through the next third day, and it's in my personal list. All right, and so here, if I look at next up personal, two of them are marked as low priority. Uh, so they're gonna be coming up, things I wanna do next in my personal life, but also go grocery shopping because we mark that as due on Saturday. So that also comes into my next step personal list because it's due tomorrow through the next three days. So that kind of shows you how I'm using uh, these three filters to organize my tasks and really let myself know what tasks I need to work on right now and are highest priority, which ones are next on my list, and some of the other tasks that I have kind of coming through in the pipeline um, next up. So that's gonna wrap up this video. Thanks for watching to the end. One other thing I wanted to mention though, uh, if you like the content that you see and you think you might be interested in some of the other things that I'm interested in, go check out my website. It's joshuabest.net. Again, that's joshuabest.net. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one.